Hello Libra, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Libra. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart. Uh, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are, just as you are in this moment. You are welcome here and I'm glad you're here. Um, let's go ahead and see what is here in the current energy for the sign of Libra. I'm Libra, I do have my heater on this morning. It's early in the morning. You're my first reading I'm doing and it's cold and so my heater's on. So hopefully um, in a couple of minutes it will turn off and that sound that you could hear in the background for those of you that have your um, headphones on. Um, hopefully that will go away soon. All right, let's go ahead and get the current energy for the sign of Libra. Current energy for the sign of Libra. Current energy for the sign of Libra, please. Current energy, Queen of Cups flips over. Current energy for the sign of Libra. Current energy for the sign of Libra, please. Current energy, current energy. Okay, Libra, let's look at the next set of energy, the next wave of energy that you will be stepping into. The next wave of energy, the next future that Libra will be stepping into. This group of Libra people, this won't apply to all Libras. Um, for the group of people that we're connecting with here, what is coming in for this group of Libras? What is coming in for this group of Libras, please? What is Libra stepping into in the next near future? The next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. The incoming wave of energy. Whoa. Where is that card? Incoming wave of energy. Incoming wave of energy. Incoming wave of energy, please. Four of Swords flipped, but didn't come out. Incoming wave of energy for the sign of Libra. Incoming wave. All right, here we go. Guidance, guidance, please, for Libra. Guidance, please, for Libra. For the next future, for the next immediate future. Guidance, please, for the sign of Libra. Guidance, please, for the sign of Libra. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for the sign of Libra. All right, Libra, Libra, Libra. <laughs> it is my first reading, so um, you get to hear my morning voice. Lucky you, lucky you, my friends. We all have morning voice. <clears throat> I just feel like taking a breath here before I turn over these cards. Um, when we start out with the Ace of Swords, there's something, there's an epiphany or, or some kind of success here. So we have the Ace of Swords in the upright, the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, and the Six of Swords in the upright. Um, it is 348, and the reading is beginning at this point. Libra, um, please know that all of my cards are all upright as I shuffle, and if they come out in the reverse, or sideways, or any which way, um, I am going to read them as they fall. So that is my method that I have um, found over the last couple of weeks. You have all seen me um, beginning to bring reversals in, and um, I think I found a way that I can work with reversals that, that fit for me. So um, these are all in the upright, which um, I, I f and that's a good sign, um, Libra. So this group of you currently, you have reached some decision about something. There's some decision that you have reached. You have decided upon something. You have found your pathway or you have found um, this this. You have, you have found this clarifying information. It's something has been clarified and there is a decision here that you have made. Um, it could have been, it could have been different than what you originally thought way back when. It could have been different. Something could be slightly different about it. 
Um, but you're but you're coming to terms with this. You're settling in on this, and um, you're moving forward. You have a lot of clarity, and in addition to clarity, Libra, you do have the wisdom. You have the internal sense of self. You know who you are, Libra. You know who you are. You you can see the core of yourself here, in some way, and you're moving forward now with a um, energy of the energy of of how do I say this word? Resolute resolute and at peace and willing to put the work in now willing to put the work in now um, to bring this success in for you it is eight of pentacles energy so this is the energy of focus intentional creation it is the energy of knowing within yourself that there is a um, likelihood for abundance here and you're willing to put the time and work into this um, you do have one pentacle that you have finished in this image. So that tells me that you're on the way, that you have found some success here. And um, you are working to create the rest of this system or process or product or whatever you're doing. It's something that you're doing in reality. It's not a dream anymore. You're actually working on this. Um, you have some ideas that you are... Um, moving forward with now you have clarity on this and you have some really good ideas for the future as well you're not going to be stopping at this um with at this point you have some ideas here um that you're moving forward with. they're at the back of your head so you're you're at the beginning whatever this is libra you're at the beginning of this um this is exciting for you you have some ideas for the future and these ideas are bringing you a sense of peacefulness a sense of future a sense of future abundance and you're moving forward and you're at this very peaceful place. You're, you're moving forward. You're busy. You have a decision that you've made and you also have ideas and plans for the future, which give you a sense of direction. It gives you peace. It brings peace on this journey you have in your walking alongside you whether it's your spiritual team that's uh, that's helping you connect into this peace or whether it's your plans for the future or your wisdom that you carry within you there's there's something here that you have in your back pocket that you have in your toolbox something that you have in mind for the future that is bringing you a, some peace and i think libra this is having plans having a strategy brings you peace having a route Having a map, it brings you peace. And I think that's for many of you, um, how you're able to move forward in this very peaceful and powerful way. When we're at peace and we are focused and we're intentional in our work, um, this is truly um, moving, move, this truly moves us forward down our path. All right, let's look at what's coming in next for you, Libra. Let's look at what's coming in next for you now. What's coming in next for the sign of Libra? What's coming in next for Libra, please? The High Priestess here. The Death Energy, Scorpio Energy. Temperance Energy. Temperance. So we have a Pisces type energy. Scorpio Energy, a Sagittarius Energy. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And remember, this energy flew off out of my hands. Um, luckily, it landed on my um, stool that's next to me, so I didn't have to, like, reach down and, and get it. But um, definitely has some energy here with this Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Emperor Energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles Energy and the Hermit Energy. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people here. Is there not, Libra? There's a lot of people feel like this is a story about a group of you who are um, <clears throat> going through some type of a change in your life, and there are people around that are playing roles here for you. Um, let me get deeper into each one of these energies. I feel like there are different people here, so let me get a little deeper into this. Give me just a moment here to settle myself in. 
because I need to settle my, oh man, there's some energies that are coming up at me, not just one. So sometimes I, it's just your story, Libra. Sometimes it's just your story and I can kind of sink my way all the way into it as a group, but this is multiple people. Um, we have you here, Libra, as a high priestess. I really feel like you're the high priestess in this energy. Um, you have this deep wisdom. Um, you have connected into your source energy, the energy that you connect into that brings you strength, that brings you guidance. Um, you you know yourself to the core. Um, you're moving forward perhaps in a way that, that most people don't understand. You could be... Um, really not revealing all of yourself at this point, but I can definitely see that you're nurturing yourself and you're connected into the divine energy. You're connected into who you are. And um, there's something here that you have in mind. There's something here that you are working towards um, because you're moving into some sort of powerful change in your life with the death energy. This runs deep within you. So, we have the high priestess with the death energy. This is the same person here. This is you, I think. For many of you, this is your energy. Um, there's something here that you have experienced in your past. Some new enlightenment or some deep wisdom that you have acquired throughout your journey. And you are transforming um, something in your life here, whether it's your career, your personal life working to transform your family, working to transform some type of behavior that was destructive within your environment, but you're working here on some internal internal transformation. Um, we do have the temperance energy. This is an energy of compassion. I feel like this is still your energy, energy of compassion. Um, as you move into the future now, this, I can get into these energies, Libra, and they can feel really big to me. And I'm just being reminded that this is a two week, a three week reading. So for some of you, this could be something that you're just experiencing in the workplace or at home. Um, and it doesn't have to be a life changing, huge story. Um, it can be something that you have realized within your family or in your workplace and you're working to change it. You're realizing there might be a behavior here that you've had um, or some kind of understanding or perception that you had that wasn't exactly um, wasn't exactly accurate and you're working on changing that. Um, you're having compassion here for yourself and for others and you're moving out of this fear, fear and insecurity about whatever this is. So um, this could be just in a workplace, a situation in the workplace. For some of you, this is a major life change. So I think sometimes when these stories are brought forward, they can really impact the viewers in different ways. And I just leave that up to my own spiritual team to do the work that they're meant to do here as this message is being brought forward. So for some of you, this can be a situation that's been taking place in the last couple of weeks not a huge, huge life-changing moment or time uh, for you, but something that you are actually working yourself through in a daily in a daily way. For others of you, this is a major life transformation that we have here. So please take it and apply it into your life in the way that it fits for you. And if it doesn't fit at all, then it then it may not be for you this time. All right. So going back into the temperance energy, we have this. Um, I'm really drawn to. Um, the sun symbol that's on the forehead. So there is um, an optimism here, a faith and a trust um, that you're moving forward in now, trusting in your own intuition, trusting in your spiritual team, um, having optimism and, antici and anticipation for a um, more promising future. And you're having this energy of compassion, uh, patience and understanding um, for what it's going to take for you to bring yourself into this new higher level. Um, if this is a work situation or something within your family that's um, a, a a situation of, um, of a more current energy, um, you are giving the people around you and even yourself a chance here to work this out. Um, you're, you're not rushing it. You're letting it work itself out in a more organic way, knowing that everybody has a role um, trusting in, in your spiritual team and in the, in the spiritual teams of the people around you um, and the energies of this situation and the energies that are within this experience 
um, for this to turn out in the most positive way. So there is an energy of trust here um, with the wings that are behind the temperance energy and the sun emblem that's um, in the third eye, um, between the third eye and the crown chakra. So it's like you're, you're, you are um, very much in tune with the higher level energies and um, within your heart center, um, within your abdomen, um, there is a strengthening um, here. There's a suiting up. There's a suiting up and a strengthening of the core chakras so that as you step into this experience, you have, you have the tenacity and the perseverance and the courage to stay strong in whatever this change is for you. We do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So that tells me um, that there is a situation here that's coming to an end. I, I'm getting into this Five of Pentacles. Give me a second uh, as I get into this Five of Pentacles energy. Um, as I get into this energy and allow my body to, to move into this energy, uh, my face turns up in a smile. So my face turns up in a smile. Um, there is a relaxing of the skin around the eyes and around the face. So that tells me that there is a diminishing of anxiety here, a diminishing of fear here um, of, of what the consequences of this change could be. So I feel like some of you could be um, afraid of the consequences of whatever this transformation is going to lead you to. Whenever we go through a transformation and we change something, Something could be changed, departments could be changing, a company could be changing their policy, um, a company could be changing their CEO, um, somebody could have resigned, um, and you're bringing in new leadership. Whatever this is, there has been some insecurity here around this change. Worry that it won't be successful. Worry that um, somebody will be left out in the cold or there will be financial consequences here. Maybe the stockholders won't agree to this change. Um, but the Five of Pentacles is in reverse, and when I get into that energy, there's a smile on my face, and the skin and the muscles around my eyes and around my um, cheeks, um, they they relax. So I, I think that whatever you're worried about here um, is going to ease up. It's going to ease up, and um, you're by the end of this period of time, you're going to be starting to feel some relief in this situation. Um, it is um, a feeling of relaxing into this change um th there are some first signs some first indicators of success here and this allows you to relax as you move into this change all right so now i'm getting to the bottom row and i think these are people here that are showing up in this experience maybe not for all of you but um, i'm going to go into these people here um, to see if i can get a little bit more information about them they're all in the upright so i think they're all um, people here who have something positive to add to the situation. We have an emperor. Now the emperor is connected to the high priestess and the death energy. So I do feel like um, there is someone here, doesn't have to be a man, can be a woman as well. Um, but this person has uh, maybe leadership over you. Um, maybe this person is older than you or has a very specialized skill, um, a, a capacity um, that is rare in the field in which he or she finds her, herself or himself. Um, this is somebody who has um, experienced, um, how do I say it? It's like they're showing me a ranking. So this person has started at the bottom in whatever the, his um, journey has been, and he has climbed his way up, man or woman, has climbed his way up here, uh, to some high level of success. So this person has a very deep understanding of the situation, of some kind of situation. He is a leader of people or a leader of some sort of progress forward in some kind of way. Um, he has found success in this. He very much prefers to have control. Um, and I don't feel um, too much negativity around this control. I do feel that he understands the need for guidelines and processes and a concrete way of moving forward. He could have some kind of resistance to this transformation, um, but I think that he is trusting 
the high he there is an energy of trust here there's an energy of trust here connected to the high priestess so i think he's trusting the high priestess energy i think that he understands um her intentions he understands that she has something here that she's trying to accomplish and that her intentions are powerful that that they're divinely guided and he's willing to relinquish a little bit of control here as this change takes place. This could be a spouse. This could be a lover. This could be a boss, a supervisor, someone in the community around you. Um, but there is someone here that is watching this, uh, slightly worried, but willing to allow this change to take place. Because I think that the emperor here agrees that there needs to be some sort of change. There needs to be a transformation here. And I think that he is on board with the transformation. Um, he might not have had the strength to initiate it. He might not have had the, the, the proper and appropriate place in the hierarchy to initiate this change. But I think that he's supportive of it. He will stand behind you. And he will allow this transformation to take place. That's the intention or that is where the emperor energy stands here for, for many of you. All right, now I'm moving on to the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The Emperor could be an Aries, but doesn't have to be. The Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but doesn't have to be. The qualities and the personality of the Queen of Pentacles um, does not have to be a female, can be a male. But the qualities of this individual um, are very grounded. Um, this person is very compassionate, um, very much aware about how other people feel how other people feel around him or her, um, works very hard, could be a, um, a workaholic, um, could be someone who works long hours, who um, is um, during times of turmoil, um, might have a hard time relinquishing work, um, perhaps in the evening or during the weekend. Um, this is someone who works in the daily operations, um, somebody who sees the details of, of this um, of this whatever this is, whether this is in your family or whether this is in your workplace or in your community, um, this person, and could even be you, Libra, um, this person is somebody who sees the details here and works very hard to make sure that everything is implemented properly and accurately so that this um, operation can move forward in the most stable and productive way. Um, so this person, whether this person likes to or not, you know, this person has a job of uh, performing the details, making sure that everything is working properly, um, the small bits and pieces, the daily operations. Um, this person might not be overall um, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but at work or when they are active and when they're focused, they're working um, in a very detailed way. Um, they um, are a part of this transformation. So this transformation has affected their life in some way, um, but they do have this patience and understanding and they do feel that from you, um, Libra, they do feel that patience and understanding and that's comforting for them um, to, to have um, um, that energy from them. They, they gain comfort and that helps them with their imbalance here um, to receive this type of energy, patience, compassion, understanding as they go through this change. Because as we know, the people that live in the details, the people that have to uh, make things work on a daily basis, they are very much impacted by transformation because it can really go into their, deep into their the, the way that their routines and the way that they carry things forward. And this type of person likes routines. This type of person finds comfort in daily operations that are the same because that's how we can find accuracy. Right, accuracy comes through um, routine, through efficiencies, through systems and processes, very similar to the emperor. Um, these two people do have different roles though, but when there's a transformation, um, this person has to change these routines and this could be stressful for them. It could cause them to act out of character. It could cause them to work overly long hours. Um, but I like that there's this energy of patience and understanding here uh, for the Queen of Pentacles as, as he or she goes through that transformation because this person is vital for this transformation. This person is vital for this transformation. 
could be someone in the family, could be a child, could be a sister or a brother, could be a coworker, a boss, an accountant, a bookkeeper, anyone like that. Okay, we do have this third person here, um, the hermit energy, a Virgo energy, another earth energy. Again, Virgo energies um, prefer the details. They prefer, they, they can see, well, they have a very special quality, um, the, the hermit energy, the Virgo energy. So let's go into the energy of the hermit. So the hermit, and, and this hermit is in the upright. The hermit is connected to compassion and patience as well. Um, the hermit is also connected to this fear um, that's here, the fear of finances. So this person here has some sort of this worry, this this worry that was here um, would impact the, the life of the hermit. So maybe this person is somebody out in the field or this person is somebody that is implementing uh, processes or working with um, branch offices or um, carrying the, this new change forward out into the world somehow. Um, and he has had some type of fear here or worry as well um, at, at the transformation that's taking place. So whether this is you, um, Taurus, or whether this is also the emperor, these people can be just like when I go into people in the extended, I go into the, in the extended reading, I'll go deeper into the people who are around you. And sometimes these people that are around you that come forward are all um, digging deep into you or digging deep into a spouse. So they can be one person or they can be multiple people. I feel for many of you, this is multiple people here. Um, this hermit energy has really had to kind of struggle with this transformation here. Somehow they've struggled here um, with deep insecurities within themselves, and they might have had something that they needed to change about their work. Um, they could have gone real quiet. They could have gone really quiet, Libra, as they um, went through this change. I feel for many of you, this could be a work situation or something happening in the extended family or something happening in the community somehow. Um, the, this person, um, there, there's something that they need to change up with how they operate, and they've been working um, in kind of a fear place, um, fear of this transformation, fear of these changes that are coming down the pipeline. Um, and they have been forced to, in a way, go into isolation, go deep within themselves, and figure out what their role has been figure out what they've done or what their people have done. This could be another business or some other group in the community. It doesn't have to be a person per se. It can be a group of people that are holding this type of energy. Um, this person or this group has had to kind of really dig into and audit their past behavior or their way of thinking or their plan, um, their plan of attack here. And they've had to dig deep with that. And they've, They've probably had to revise something here because the hermit um, is able to look deep within him or herself and see what his role has been. And he's able to revise his role and come back out into the community in a stronger, in a, in a wiser way. And this person is a master, a master at, at flexibility, a master at adaptability, but he does not change unless he can see the reason of it. So he has to be able to see the reason. He has to be able to see the, the justification for it. And when that becomes clear to him, because he's very rational, the Virgo energy is a very rational energy, much like Aquarius energy can be very rational, um, can be slightly cold, but this is because of the rationality here. Um, so this group has had to really rethink something, or this person has had to really rethink something and is coming back out into the workplace or into the community or into the family with another idea or an altered course or a different way of moving. Um, and this is inspirational. This is helpful. This is part of the plan. This uh, ability to change and to be flexible is part of the success of whatever this is. And um, I do feel like the hermit is beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, he's stepping out in a much more powerful way and seeing the truth of this, seeing the beneficial, um, elements of this change. So uh, I do feel like um, even though there's been transformation here, even though you're pushing for some sort of transfer transformation or you're involved in some sort of transformation in something, um, I, the people are here around, um, while they might be fearful, while they might be going through some changes that could be challenging them, 
they ultimately see the good of this. They ultimately are willing to work with this. Um, they feel your compassion and patience. They see the support of the emperor and they're moving forward. You all are moving forward as a, as a beautiful team, moving forward as a beautiful team now, Libra. Um, that is such a beautiful story. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and look at the guidance here that's coming forward for Libra. Looking at the guidance that's coming forward for Libra now. Looking at the guidance. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Guidance for Libra. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. King of Wands. So this is definitely something you all are working on. Um, there's an energy of learning and growth. This is something that has been started. So the guidance is this is something that has been started already. Um, it's, it's necessary to work together now to find a solution because there is um, a, a beautiful future here of, of further prosperity and, um, and, and great abundance that's here. Uh, there is a need for everyone to be very creative, um, to be creative, to be expansive, to uh, allow others to come forward with ideas, to allow others to express um, their thoughts and their opinions. Um, there's definitely an energy of, of a couple people here having more, having more, um, having a hierarchy, but there is a, um, there's a hierarchy here, but it's truly beautiful because there's a allowing of energy to run up and down the hierarchy. So at the end of the day, there is none. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is such an amazing team. If this is a family or a work um, group or a community, um, this is a community that's working together in a way that um, I, I feel we, we will begin to see more and more of these types of communities or companies. Um, there is an energy here of source energy, an energy of divine connection. It does not matter the culture, nor the country, nor the color of the skin. It is a divine quality within each and every human that is able to be accessed, my beautiful friends. And this group of people have has accessed this. <sighs> my head is cold. It's like my, ah, this is such beautiful energy. So the guidance here is to continue to move forward, to work together as a group, to understand and appreciate and nurture the roles of every individual that's on the team no matter what the hierarchy is of the human of the human system this is about merging the consciousness of the of the um of the souls that are in this uh, this energy is going straight up into source energy so while i'm trying to be on the ground here in this pentacles energy it's like i'm floating up into source energy so there is a divine connection here the guidance is to continue in this in this way, to continue working together, to listen to each other, to honor each other. Ah, it's so beautiful. <sighs> Moving forward into the Queen of Wands energy. This is an energy of knowing your super. So sorry, I'm I'm pulling out of that divine energy now. Moving into Queen of Wands. Okay, give me a second because we have some partners here. Isn't this beautiful? We have some partners. Um, now this, <laughs> it's so beautiful though. Honestly, the queen of wands energy, I feel is Libra energy. Now it doesn't have to be a male. doesn't have to be a female, whatever. It's not about the genders. It's about the energy of the queen of wands. Okay. So you, can you tell my tone as I get into the queen of wands? <laughs> it changes. <laughs> okay, Libra, you're super beautiful. So um, or super handsome. This is an energy of passion. So there's a lot of passion here. Um, this is something that you believe within your heart center, within your core center of who you are. Um, you are very much in action now. Um, knowing, knowing what your superpowers are, you're standing firm in what you believe. You're very intuitive here. Um, you have grasped the weaknesses that you carry within you. And you've learned how to manage those and you're not hiding those weaknesses. That's what's so beautiful about this team. You know what you're good at. Um, you know what you're good at, Libra. And you know what you need help with. 
and the people around you all feel the same way. They know what they're good at and they know what they need help with. And somehow this team is coming together in a, in a brilliant way. Um, although, Libra, you will not allow for anyone um, to, um, oh, shoot, what is this energy? You will not allow anyone to set forward into this space if their intentions are not, I was going to say correct, and that's not the right energy. If their intentions are not for the betterment of this, of this creation. So there, there needs to be an energy of improvement, an energy of ego, um, egos in control, egos managing the ego. So you will not allow fear into the space. You will not allow insecurity into the space. You will not allow jealousy or anger. It's like you're very protective of the energy of the people who are in this space. So this team is a group of people, whether this is a family, a workplace, a community, you're very protective of this team that's here because there's something vital, vitally important about the work of this group of people. So if you sent someone coming near who has alternative agendas or has a hijacking kind of energy, you are stepping forward and protecting that. That's the energy that I see in the Queen of Wands. Now this King of Wands here, um, you have a King of Wands, so there's a partner here, and I feel this is probably that Emperor energy. Um, he is in a watching energy. There's something here the King of Wands is not able to, um, perhaps the King of Wands isn't necessarily on the team, the King of Wands could somehow have a different kind of a role. This could be a CEO, a boss. Um, this could be someone who, let's say you're working on a performance or you're working on a movie. Um, this could be the producer. I don't know all of these roles. I just feel like there there is someone who either invented this or had this idea or has the funding or somehow has a role here but doesn't have his fingers in the game. Does that make sense? Doesn't have his fingers in the game, but has a considerable um, interest in what's taking place and is willing to do the parts um, that he or she can perform. But somehow this person is feeling like a, a little bit of a lack of control here. Um, this person might want to get his fingers into this game, but for some reason there is there is something here that's, keeping him, her, her, because normally this person is a creator. This person is an inventor, an influencer. Um, this person likes to be on the front line, likes to be in the front wave of action. Um, but there's something going on that this person is not able to really get his fingers in, and that's okay. Um, that is just part of this process. But there's someone here who's very supportive, very interested. This person is definitely a partner to you, could be a spouse, could be um, a funder, funding source could be an agent. I don't know. This person has some type of rule, but somehow there is something that this team is doing now that this King of Wands has to let go of, has to let go of and let this take its, let this run its course. Libra, I do not know what this story is, but it's really beautiful. I feel like this could, I don't know. There's something beautiful and profound that's being created by this group of people. Um, whether this is a restoration of a family, this is could be a new product that's being created, a new company that's being started. Um, this could be a, um, a movie that's being created, a book that's being written, a research project that's, that's being um, completed, something here. Um, and there's guidance here um, to continue all in the ways that you're, that you're working, to continue on just as you are, just as you are. Okay, Libra, I am going to move now to the, I'm going to take a little break and kind of get grounded and I'm going to move on to the extended. We're going to look deeper here into some of these energies. Let me tell you right now what energies I'm going to, I'm going to look into this Ace of Swords energy. I'm going to look deeper into this Three of Pentacles to see if we can get a little bit more information about what's created here. 
and this Eight of Pentacles. So I'm going to dig deeper into these three energies and go deeper into these energies. And then I'm going to look at the people who are around you and see what their intentions are. And we have a lot of people in this reading, but I don't want to, I, I've gone quite deep into these people. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of energy left here. So I want to bring out fresh cards, fresh cards for the people and dig into them um, in a fresh way. So um, these are the energies that I will be connecting in with and going down this rabbit hole, going down in, deeper into these energies. And then I'll bring out the people that are, that are around you and dig much deeper into what their intentions are. All right, Libra, thank you very much for um, giving me the opportunity to get into your story. Um, it truly, this is a beautiful, beautiful group of people, beautiful family, beautiful workplace. Um, and it's, it's a real treasure. I treasure it. I treasure being able to get into this energy this morning. Thank you all very much. Thank you.